Hey, you guys, it's William Colling from We We Vlogs. I'm Freddy. And we are in Trondheim, Norway, but we are reacting to the winner of Spain's Eurovision 2024 selection, Nebulasa, with the song Zora, which has often been used to describe you. <laughs> I'm just kidding. You're a little Zora. Oh, it can mean vixen, it can mean bitch, it can mean whore. Slut. Yeah, yeah, lots of words that are not so nice, but she's reclaiming, so we're gonna watch and react. Are you ready? Let's do, do this. this! Oh my goodness, you guys. I'm putting this in my right ear. I just wanna preface this by saying, and this is from a post written by Luis Fuster, a wee wee vlogger in Spain. Zora delivers a message of female emancipation, empowerment and reassurance. Quote, I know I'm not who you want. I know, I get that you're upset by it, but this is my nature. I can't be bothered to change for you. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah. No. <laughs> All right. Hitting palais. I love those lights. Mm, that was great. She is in the keyhole. You've been in a K-hole. <laughs> 80 cent. Ah, oh, confidence. Oh, the crowd is chanting along. They love it. Gosh, you can hear them, can't you? Oh, the song is great. I love the Andy Warhol synth guy. Very empowering. It has a burlesque vibe. Yeah, she's, she's oozing sex. Yeah, she's got it. All decades. Oh. This is giving me like share of Spain. Do you know what I mean? Older woman bringing the gays to the table. Zora's written everywhere. I love it. Zora as female Zora. Yeah. Oh! Crowd singing along. She knows she's got him. That is a queen. That is a diva. Oh. I oh. find it. Oh! Oh, that butt sound. I was gonna say heartwarming, but ass warming. Those <laughs> ass out warm. It's so gay. I love it. Yeah, she's playing into that crowd, isn't she? Yeah. Jorge gave one gay, she's giving another. <laughs> I think she's focusing on her vocals a lot more here than she was the semi final. She sounds a lot better. She sounds great, yeah. yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> this is gonna do well with the people. Oh! That was some Drag Race of Spaniel. Oh. You can hear the crowd in Malmo going. Yeah. Yeah. How can you not love her? Wow. There's a lot of ass in this. Yeah. This is very beautiful. Ooh. Ooh. She's getting felt up. Yeah. I hope I'm getting felt up at 50 something. <laughs> Oh, she's got oh, it. Big kiss to the camera. She's got it. Mm. There's confidence in her. Yeah. Oh. This is so sweet. I love it. Ab Ooh, absolutely love it. What I love about this is the confidence you mention. She's saying any age, no yeah. matter what you look like, you can do it. She's doing it. This contest is known for 20-somethings, yeah. for like young things, and she's a mature, sophisticated woman, and all of us were like, get it, yeah. girl, you know? Yeah, yeah. But that is exactly why I love the song. I think it's actually yeah. my, probably one of my favorite songs, well, it is my favorite song so far this year. Yeah. And that's why I think those men should be replaced by older women. I think she should tell the story through oh. older women. I, I think 
That's the taboo that she's hinting at through the song. And if she's going to bring that taboo to Eurovision, she should go all in. I actually think these kind of flamboyant gays with their like death drops and blood, we've seen it. So we have seen it, but we liked it. And so this yeah. is the thing. Because she is so central, it's all about her. I love that she's like mother queen diva, mm. mothering the gays on stage, yeah. celebrating. You know, they're not conforming to gender stereotypes, are they? No. You know, are those assless chaps? What are? Is that just a G-string? Is it a job? Yeah. I don't know what it is. I just know you see a lot of booty. Um, yeah. And I am here for the donkey <laughs> booty. You know, I take your point. Maybe... If you had other older women, though, it might detract from her. I see what you mean, yeah. You know in the music video, she has that whole thing, it's all the, the crowd are kind of slowly turning against her because they think it's kind of bad taste and all that yeah. stuff. I think just hint more at that in the, in the live performance. Mm. I mean, don't turn the crowd against you, but uh, bring bring a bit more of that because I, I think that was the most um, powerful message from the video. That was the power of the song, and that's why it got so much support. It's an interesting point. So in her interview with Sinan Sadula and Luis Fuster from Wee Wee Blogs, you can watch it on our YouTube channel, she says the song's about humiliation, about how others made her to feel less than she is, made her feel like she wasn't worthy. Mm. I do accept your point. That is the most powerful thing. However, there's something about her vulnerability because you're going to see on stage a bunch of young looking things, like, you know, like Blanca from Poland. You'll, you'll have people like Blanca from Poland with their legs above their head. And then you'll have an older woman walking out and she's like, I may not be able to do that, but I can still give you what I've got. Yeah. I don't know. I think it will come through at Eurovision based on what's around it. Yeah. Maybe. Um, I, the whole, she's leaning into the gay thing. And I quite like that. However, I do accept your point that maybe some will view it as cliche. I, I don't know. I mean, there are some parts of Europe, that, oh, I mean, maybe that's rude to say, but there are some parts yeah. of Europe where it, it is a stronger message to have the gays. Yeah. I, just think, I just think in a place like Spain, it's been done. But at the same time, Spain embraced it. So Spain, Spain, Spain was hungry it. for yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, all I know is this, I feel like as long as you keep highlighting her face, because she's very emotional, yeah. this whole time you can tell how much it means to yeah. her, and that makes it mean something to you. And... and that's not going to change. They could put her in a cardboard box as long as I see that face with that emotion. I'm sold. And um, how do you think it's going to do? So on the one hand, I could see this coming top five. Really? Yeah. See, what surprised me is I was worried. And I was just worried that the juries would penalize the voice. Yeah. I thought the juries would say, oh, the, the vocal isn't strong enough. However, what the jury said was that they were voting with their heart. They were saying this is good musically. Musically, the production, yeah, the song, production is great, yeah. it feels so now. But I think there's a tenderness to her that you get over the vocal. And look, Kario from Finland did not have the best vocals on earth. And he was like top five with the jury. Was yeah. he fifth? So I don't think voice is everything. And also, they had two assless, I'm sorry, two ass exposing dancers. They had one backing, was there a woman hitting a drum? And then they had Zora. So they have two more people they can put backstage for the vocals. Oh, that is true. Pump up the, yeah. the, the ambience. Yeah, no, I, I agree. Um, a lot of people online saying that they expected not to do amazingly well. <sighs> it's the whole head versus heart debate. Yeah. My head would say, okay, maybe you're right. But my heart says, y'all are effing wrong. Mm. I, it's interesting. This is, in some ways, you're going to think I'm crazy. But you know how last year Spain sent something they were proud of? And it didn't do well on the scoreboard, but it didn't matter that yeah, it did poorly, yeah, yeah. because the fact was people, so many people loved it. Blanca Paloma was a great representative at the pre-parties. That's gonna happen this year. Everyone will be touched by Nebulosa. Everyone will be touched by the lead singer. Yeah. And so it doesn't, the result doesn't matter because this is gonna be a talking point the whole season. But that is what exactly why I think they need to lean more, with the production of the song on the staging, um, needs to lean more into the message from that video because I mm. think that will, that's the thing that's gonna pull on people's heartstrings and that's what's yeah. gonna make people vote, you know? Maybe have, not virtual reality, but on the LEDs, the young woman and she morphs into the old woman oh, yeah. and she remembers like what it was like to be young and free and called a bitch then, called a bitch now. Oh yeah. I'm actually thinking of Jana Bruceska's Dance Alone 2017, the music video, how you have the younger woman looking back, or the older woman looking back at the younger woman. You could play with that with technology perhaps. Yeah, yeah. 
But all in all, amazing production. Oh. Such a great song. I, I loved it for the moment I first heard it. It's, yeah. it's just a great song. And you know what's interesting? I feel like even in the Willy Blogs top three video, everyone had this somewhere in their top. Yeah. And I say, you can't fight this result. There's no reason to be angry at this result. Yeah. Like, I loved Jorge. Absolutely. As did you. Yeah. You were melting. I need to wipe the floor, actually. <laughs> but the point is, we love this too. This yeah. is, it's... Benidorm Fest, people said this was a weak Benidorm Fest. And like... Sure, maybe there weren't 16 number one hits, but there were a few hits in there and a few emotional moments, though I say this is a strong selection. Yeah, you don't need 20 great songs in a selection. <laughs> you, you just don't. need a few from one that's a winner, yeah. Yeah. But to answer your question, can this do well at Eurovision? I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna say yes. I am gonna say yes, fan favorite. Europe will get behind this, media behind this. It'll do okay with the jury. Look for this to be a surprise challenger. I'm gonna call, yeah, this is a surprise challenger. You can say I'm naive, I've got my head in the sand. I'm gonna say it. Freddie, take a side. Uh, I, uh, middling. Middling. I think it's a beautiful song, amazing. Pump up the production. It could go higher up that left side. I don't think it's got a no points contender. Mm. Definitely do better than last year's Spain. I don't know, I would say middling. Wouldn't it be interesting if, you know, we had Chanel, booty hypnotic, you know, popping that pee, all that stuff. Then we had um, Blanca Paloma, incredible, historic, traditional, amazing. They were both in their own ways mm. fan favorites. What if this, the older woman, you know, sneaks through and gives them their best result? That'd be amazing. I, yeah. It'd take a lot to be slow mo though. But the thing is, this this Fair. strikes a different chord. I feel like this is less. I loved obviously. I love slow mo. Slow -mo watch every single video I ever filmed on it. But this is less cliche. This is something for all the Rigoberto Bandini fans who oh, I remember she yeah. lost out to Chanel, who can now get behind because there's a ah. similar kind of vein of music, right? And yeah. it's, a, it's a strong message, a strong message of female empowerment. And um, yeah. And now we can all use the word Thora and not feel bad. Zora, Zora. <laughs> all right, well, that's what we think. What do you think? Is Spain going to surprise at Eurovision? Are you happy with the result? Let us know here on Wee Blogs. Bye. You're supposed to say. Oh, sorry, what do you want to say? What do you want to say? Um, ah. <laughs> Look, just follow us on Pinterest. <laughs> we'll see you later. Bye. Bye.